Hi and welcome. This week's video is a follow-on to last week's where I completed the terrarium with the ficus. At the end of the video I showed the terrarium sitting under a grow light which you can see on your screen now. Currently I have four at home of a terrarium so it doesn't restrict where I have to place them as trying to find somewhere with indirect light can be a challenge. They are really easy to set up and come with instructions. I've not got any others so I've got nothing to compare to but I'm really pleased with the results so far. I bought these from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description. There's multiple choices for purchase, you can either buy them individually or as a pack or two and also you can choose whether you want them to come with the stand or without. I have used them both ways and I will show you later in the video how I have them on the display. These come with 48 LEDs and are perfect for indoor plants. They replace sunlight and effectively promote the photosynthesis, making it suitable for all growth stages of various plants. Included is a push button controller giving you three lighting modes and ten dimmable brightness with an auto timer that you can set for three nine or twelve hours one setup it will automatically turn off after the set hours then turn on at the same time the next day for a 24-hour cycle I recommend the 12 hour setting for the best plant growth. I hold this light adjustable from 6.5 to 26 inches so it can provide the right amount of light intensity. You can put the pole straight into the plant pot and not use the base. The base can be placed directly under the terrarium or plant pot. It's very lightweight and if you don't have it secured under the plant pot or terrarium it would move and potentially the light would fall over. Personally I would have also have liked the base to be adjustable. The is a UK standard and it comes with a USB connector. If needed, it can be rotated 180 degrees. So moving on to two of the lights that I have at home, I'm just going to go through the different light settings. I won't go into too much detail about the effects of the different spectrums as it does cover it in the instructions, where you will find the correct light setting for your needs. The setting I use is all light on, which stimulates sunlight, effectively promotes growth. I think this setting is perfect for terrariums. You will see here a perfect example of phototropism. It's a response to the stimulus of light. If a plant has sunlight directly above them, then the plants will go straight up towards it. You may have noticed yourself with your own plants where they've not grown straight and tall, but have got a bend to them where they're actually reaching towards the light. It's not really easy to see here, but the larger terrarium, I've just got the light resting on the lid. The smaller terrarium, the light is attached to the pearl. And here we have an example of geotropism, where plants anchor themselves to the soil, putting their roots downwards to absorb water and nutrients. I'm loving the look of these slanciers. Air plants, they're looking so plump and healthy. One of them has even produced a little puff. Hopefully you can see the pup here just at the base of the slancia. I will cover how to care for them in a future video. Well that's all for this week, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Please like and subscribe and then YouTube can notify you when I next upload a video. See you soon!